First up, this was fascinating. This was fascinating, and that's what I've been talking about this channel for a very long time. So this is by Santiment. If you don't know Santiment, it's a data and, and analytics platform, and it helps traders become better traders just by giving them the best information that's out there. They put a lot of time and effort into it, and, they've, and I've uh, done some of their stuff before, uh, their different uh, cases, and they seem to be on point. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh, this ought to be good. Bitcoin, whales, and holders. So what the heck is going on here? So to make it very simple, they just pretty much lay out exactly what we've all known is that whales control everything and here's the data out of 855 assets that we track on chain data for 727 have greater than 50 percent of their total supply located in the top 100 addresses that is hilarious for the time being crypto can only promise the decentralization of their network not of their supply. So everybody who's talking about, well, this project sucks because it's all, you know, it's so centralized and this project is awful because it's so centralized. Well, here's the thing. Everybody's centralized right now. Now, do I think that is going to continue for the for the long term? No, I think whales can only be around for so long. I mean, this is a very small market. I mean, we're under 300 billion, which sounds like a lot, but it's not. I mean, if you look at like, I mean, the, the market cap of gold, gold is 8 trillion. Um, the market cap of the entire stock market is like 89 trillion or something. It's just ridiculous. So we're talking about 300 billion. It's a drop in the bucket. And that's why these whales can do all these things. And uh, they're making a killing right now off us. But as time goes on, even whales got to sell. And the more that we stay in this, the more strong hands that we have, then we become the controlling aspect of the whole market. The thing is, just have some strong hands. Don't be like Portney over there at Barstool Sports, who just got out, you know, lickety split because he had weak hands. Sorry, he did. So be the strong hand of player, hodl, and just hang on. Because as time goes on, those whales are to sell. You and me, we pick up all those little scraps and a little bit of scraps equal up to a complete meal. So that's what I think is going to happen over time. They can't hold it forever. And that's why I'm here. Well, that's why me and you were here. So it says again, Bitcoin supply is dominated by whales. Look at this. 85% of the total supply of Bitcoin is found in addresses owning more than 10 Bitcoin, which isn't that much, right? You think, well, 10 Bitcoin, but that's still 113,000. 61% of Bitcoin's total supply is currently in the hands of the hand of Bitcoin millionaires owning up 100 plus Bitcoin. And then the top five altcoins are no different. So don't sit there all smug and be like, well, mine's awesome. No, it's not. So ETH holder distri distribution, 80% the total supply are held by addresses with more than a thousand ETH, which is, you know, almost half a million dollars. And then Link, which everybody talks about, same thing. 94.6% held by addresses with more than 10,000 Link. And XRP, everybody's favorite who likes to bag on, even me sometimes, even though I hold it. I, I will never let it go because I'm so stubborn. 95.4% held by addresses with more than 10 million XRP, which we kind of knew that, right? So when we take a look at all these different altcoins, and just, just to reiterate, just to reiterate, 727 of the top assets have more than 50% of their total supply in the top 100 addresses. So just let that sink in again. So don't be high and mighty. It happens across the board. So let's move down, move down, moving down. And this is what I'm talking about. Whales have to sell and we'll pick up the scraps. The amount of Bitcoin held by small investors has more than doubled in the past five years. Bitcoin well held holdings have declined by a similar margin during this time. Supply owned by addresses with less than 10 has grown from 6% to 14% since August 15th. That's me and you. We're doing great things just by having strong hands. Retail sector growth will be key for Bitcoin to get a foothold in the global financial system. And I totally believe that. I have more faith in me and you than I do in those whales. I'll tell you that right now. Moving down, Bitcoin price action is relying on whale loyalty. Idle Bitcoin activity points to ongoing accumulation. 65% of all Bitcoin has not moved in the last year. This marks an all-time low in Bitcoin's yearly circulation. People are accumulating. Price will go up. Hope to see fireworks, hoping for 100K by 2021. We'll see. Going down, going down. And then talk about median age and decisive zone. I will link this <clears throat> in the description. But it's actually, uh, actually I do my, my do my best, but it's actually, uh, it was sent to me via email, so I probably can't. But let me, uh, I'll just link the uh, sentiment there so you can find it yourself. But here's the big thing. Here's the crux of the whole article. Oops, it's these last two slides. So, trading bitcoin based on whale behavior so what they did what if you wanted to trade bitcoin based solely on the behavior of its whales and i whenever that, i'm like that sounds good 
we back tested a simple trading strategy using the on chain activity of the largest Bitcoin addresses. Our strategy one, fetch all addresses holding 100 plus Bitcoin, two, review their trend over the last 35 days, three, upward trend equals accumulation, downward trend equals distribution. So if the trend slope is greater than 0.5, you got to buy. If it's less than 5, 0.5, you're going to sell. And I thought, okay, this is a great sales pitch. Like I thought this was, a, I swear to God, I thought this was a sales pitch. And they're going to say, just sign up for our trading program for $99.95 a month. But here's what they said. The results of our whale strategy for the past two years are as follows. Number of executed trades, 18. Annualized returns, almost 20%. So the whale strategy returns were plus 46%. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. But here's the benchmark, which is the HODL. Just holding on, being an investor, returns were 61%. So as expected, trading only based on whale activity is less effective than simply Holding Bitcoin. And it's what I've been saying the whole time on this channel. Look, everybody wants you to trade. Everybody wants you to leverage. Everybody wants you to do all these crazy things that just really just let you lose all your crypto. Just be an investor if it works out for you. I mean, I don't know what to tell you because I just accumulate. I just dollar cost average. And I've been preaching that since I started this channel. And people at the beginning were like, you're an idiot. You need to trade. You need to get over there and leverage everything and just do it. That might work for the 5% of you. Fantastic. But I don't know what's working for everybody. So if you haven't had that much luck with trading and uh, you're overextended, just take a step back, relax, and just dollar cost average. Meaning instead of dumping $10,000 all at once in a polka dot, uh, why don't you just, you know, Put a couple hundred bucks in uh, for yes for a couple days ago. Then yesterday, maybe put another hundred bucks in. Then today, put another hundred bucks in. And over time, it'll work itself out. Just hold on. That's all you got to do. Just hold on. And uh, I think everything should work out. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, but that's the big thing. Uh, you want to beat some whales? Just hold them.